If you want to see how a stitch is truly made, take the cover off your bobbin area, hold both the threads, and then turn your hand wheel towards you. By turning it towards you, you'll see your needle goes down, and there's going to be a, a link of thread that crosses over the top of your bobbin. Now, if I'm still holding on to those threads and I took one stitch, you can kind of see I have a twist in my two threads that I'm holding on to. So every time that your needle takes a stitch, the top thread plays jump rope with your bobbin thread. So a couple things here. Number one, when you wind a bobbin, if there's a little tail sticking out of the top of the bobbin, Make sure it's cut off because every time this stitch comes around, it's got to come and flick across that tail. Not so great. The second thing is, is if you haven't cleaned out from underneath your throat plate lately, here's a link to the video where we do our cleaning. Your threads, fabric, batting, fleeces, all those fabrics tend to molt and that builds up a lot of lint down in this area. So every time this thread goes to pass through, if it's got to pass through, pretty much all the lint that you find in your dryer, you will have some stitches that don't always look the best. Maybe you start to skip some stitches or maybe you break threads. So that's another reason why you need to clean out about every three to five full bobbins of use. You're gonna notice that underneath this throat plate it is very linty. So by seeing how much thread has to spin or cross over that whole area just for one stitch, should give you a little reminder of how much you need to take care of this machine.